Hi guys, welcome to Everything Grace with me, Daphne. Uh, today we're going to talk about something exciting. Once again, we're going to learn, we're going to unlearn and be knowledgeable about our God through the, through, through the knowledge about our Lord Jesus Christ. I release the power of God right now to everyone who is listening to me that they will be encouraged um, inspired and lifted up in Jesus name. Today we're going to talk about the statement that many people say that God will punish them. God will revenge or how some people say that God will pay them. God will pay them. The other day I was driving along with some people and I overheard their conversation. This lady had been treated badly and true it's like um really genuinely that lady had been mistreated and treated undeservingly, right? And she was sharing and then the other person in the vehicle was like, Don't worry, God will pay them, God will pay them, like to show that God will like do something bad to them because they had done bad something bad to that lady. And today I have come to um also give you knowledge about that. As far as God is concerned, God doesn't revenge and God will never revenge. God is not evil, you guys. God is not evil. Many people always say God is good all the time, and all the time God is good, and that's his nature. Wow, that is the truth. There is nothing evil in God. God has never been evil since the beginning. Of course, he has been misunderstood, but he has never been evil since the beginning. He has never destroyed anyone, and he will never destroy anyone until the end of the earth. He will never destroy anyone. Um, some people could base themselves, um, on Romans, Romans 12, Romans chapter 12, verse 19 to, 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 to say that God can actually revenge, that God can punish, um, the people who mistreat his children, his beloved, his loved ones. Well, it's not good to mistreat anyone. It's not good to mistreat even God's beloved. But he have come to say that God cannot revenge and God cannot punish anyone. Uh, yeah, we're starting from Romans 12 verse 19. Uh, Paul was writing and said, Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. So according to Paul on his writing, he was telling um, the righteous or the saints or the Christians in Rome or the people of Rome that um, do not avenge, do not cause any harm to anybody because vengeance is for God, that God is the one who will uh, revenge and punish whoever has done wrong to them. Um, that, so that's what Paul was saying. Um, by now, we have, I believe that we have come to understand that Jesus is the image of God. No one has seen God but Jesus. Jesus came in, in this world, to show us the real image of God. You and I all agree that God is good all the time the reason why we agree by that the reason why we stand by that the reason why you trust that god is good all the time is because of jesus if it wasn't for jesus we would always think that god is good and bad that god is good and evil that god is a savior and god is a destroyer if you can even see the name of jesus jesus his name in jewish means savior Jesus, the image of God, came to show us the nature of God, who is a savior. Everything about God is about saving. If you hear the name God, it's about saving. If you hear the name Jesus, it's about saving. It has never been about destruction. It will never be about destruction. It will never be about revenge. Uh, let's read from, um, this is our final 
this is a final study that we're going to read, uh, which is from Luke chapter 23, verse 33. And when they came to the place that is called the skull, there they crucified him and the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. If Jesus had gone according to Paul, Jesus would be like, Father, I know that your wrath is going to come upon these guys and destroy them and, you know, but Jesus shows us the nature. Jesus, who show, who came on earth to show us the nature of God, says, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Jesus came to show us the nature of God. Jesus is the real image of God. Not Moses, not anyone, even I may not teach you the image of God or who God is, but Jesus will always show you who God is and who and his nature. And that's why you always have to focus on what Jesus says. Jesus forgave his enemies. People who even killed him, he forgave them. So what kind of evil can somebody do to you and you don't forgive them or you don't um, call on God to revenge? Because Jesus could have called on his father to revenge. But rather, he forgave them. Another incident we we can see is a time when Peter had cut an ear, an ear of one of the soldiers. And Jesus, and Jesus told Peter to put it back and the ear was healed immediately. That was a miracle, you guys. That was a miracle that Jesus performed. One of the miracles Jesus performed before he died. Um, showing, and he told Peter, he's like, don't you know that I can call my father to call, uh, to bring a legion of angels and they would fight all this army. And Jesus was, he wasn't just talking about it just for, just for saying it, but it's true. He could have called the angels to come and fight and uh, fight that army. Guys, God is powerful. God is the most powerful being on this in this world and even in other worlds he's the most powerful but the fact that he's powerful that doesn't mean that he will destroy anyone that doesn't mean that he will destroy anyone his power is he doesn't use it for destruction his power is used for salvation so you can see he saved that man's ear he healed that man's ear so if somebody da does something to you never never think that God would revenge. Yes, sin has consequences. That person might do wrong and the guilt and the shame will crush him. But that has nothing to do with God. If anything, Jesus took away the shame of you and I. So if that person got to understand Jesus, he would actually, his shame would be taken away and he would be saved, you know. So Jesus and God, they're all about salvation, nothing like revenge, and God will never revenge. Never expect God to revenge on your enemies. Never expect that. Never think about that because that's not God. Never put it, never even expect it. Never have it as a, a thought. Don't even think about it. Don't even like, be like, God will revenge, God will punish them. God can. God is not evil. God, there's nothing evil in God. God cannot. If you cannot destroy somebody, if you cannot get a gun and crush somebody, why do you think God should do that? Right? Why do you think God should do that? So you think you're better than God? The holy God? God cannot destroy anyone. But even if you would destroy anyone, God cannot destroy anyone. God cannot and has never and will never destroy anyone. You are blessed and loved. Always come through to listen to knowledge about Jesus uh, because we believe that right believing is equal to right living. If you know the truth, it will set you free and you will live a life of fulfillment and joy and peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Feel free to subscribe, feel free to like, feel free to share. Thank you so much. You are loved and blessed.
Bye.